Hello everyone, my name is B, and this channel is about my candle journey. In this video, we're going to cover my testing results, my candle testing results. So, I've been testing four weeks, but in the past I also test other weeks, which I'm going to talk about. Um, let's just get into it and see how it goes. So, um, let's start with RRD Weeks, which I bought from um, Four Candles. And the results, uh, I'll show you that in a second, but let me just find that here. I tested RRD 47, RRD 50 and RRD 55. R47 has been tested in 20 CL, because um, why not? <laughs> and this is how I end up. There is a bit of mushrooming and I test that two times and after second uh, Bruno after couple burnings with RRD weeks and wrapper seed and coconut wax I've realized um the smoke um or oh, not the smoke the flame was um, dancing a lot, uh, massively mushrooming, what else? And there was a smoke coming off them. So yeah, after couple tests, which one test is per test, I was burning them for hours and I was checking the candles for every hour. Hope that makes sense. So yeah. If you're using uh, rubber seed and coconut wax with RRD um, um, with RRD wicks from four candles, in my opinion, it doesn't perform. So let's move to the next one. Oh no, I just put my finger in the. Uh, Put my finger in the candle by accident. Well, next week I've tested towards P2. Let me find the right paper for it. So, I've tested uh, P266 and P270 uh, in 20 CL um, candle jar and P274 it was tested in 30 CL candle. In very similar situation to RRD I had um, where literally after two free tests they start that there was smoke coming from the wig they were dancing, the flame itself was quite big, the melt pull um, was actually okay. Um, however, like within a fourth, fourth hour of burning, the jar itself was start getting very hot, so the, the melt pull was there where it needs to, but it was just too hot. So yeah, P2. Uh, from for, from four candles, P2 week from four candles. Uh, I'm afraid no good. Then from four candles, I also tested VRL. I tested VRL L18 and VRL22, and I've tested this. Um, five times so I did five burnings for four hours and I was I have to admit I was amazed with the results I really liked um, the, the flame it was tiny dancing 
but nothing major to worry about. Uh, the flame size all the way till the fifth burning was okay. The melt pool was very nice all the way till the um, fourth hour for every test. test. Um, however, VRL22, I've got notes that in the first couple burning, it was like a little, I, I had a concert in my tunnel, however, it catch up within um, the end of the test, so it, it was actually okay. As you can see, it, it, the wax is uh, nicely melted until um, the fifth test, so they both perform really nice until until about test four. Until about test four. On the test four, I've noticed the wick start produced a smoke. That's why we've got black marks around the um, jar. So I finished the test and I decided to go for the fifth test. However, after an hour or two of the last test, I thought, no, I can't, I'm, I'm, I'm rejecting that one because the smoke was just smoking, coming too much. The um, glass started to become very hot and warm. So, yeah. I had to um, I had to say goodbye to those. However, now when I'm saying that, I'm thinking I might do some more testing in the future on that on smaller wig. So if I go VRL sixteen. But I, I think the smoking gonna still appear, so I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how I feel um, for today videos. And as for today, I'm not going to use VRL um, wicks. And then we move to other wicks which I've tested in a previous. Um, Previously, not with that test, but previously, and I didn't really have a good results in my opinion. Um, so I definitely do not recommend using um, the Echo Wicks with wrapper seed and coconut wax. Um, it just doesn't work in my opinion together. So I definitely, as much I would love to use Echo. Um, weeks uh, I, I can't it just the smoke coming off them it was just too much then i've tried the tcr tcr um weeks and i all i remember because i didn't took notes at the time all i remember the weeks hasn't really performed and i wasn't really happy with the results um, so that was no to that. Then I also tried LCS wigs. Um, I didn't like them either. There was something wrong with it. So I said no, no more to that one. However, I had quite good result with LX wigs. So but then when I was burning at home, the full candle, there was something I wasn't really fully satisfied about. So I might go back to LX. I don't know, I, I'm probably gonna have to do more tests to be sure do I really wanna go for it. So the winner, the winner, in my opinion, 
if you've got it others let me know in the comment section in uh, the CL wigs been performing the best I'm not an expert it's just as I said um, it's just just my opinion so I've tested CL10 in 20 CL jar then I tested CL12 in 30 CL and I tested CL14 in 30 CL so that been tested six times in total I did six burns I haven't burned all the way down because the aim of this test was to find the wig the wax don't have any um, fragrance oil or any smells into it it's just pure wax and a wig I just wanted to see how that's gonna perform together and of the results I'm not I'm not sure is it really sense for me to go into details exactly every hour for every test how I was performing however if you want that let me know in the comment section I'm more than happy to do so to talk every hour uh, to, not to talk every hour but to let you know what happened to the candle every hour uh, end of the story CL10 in 20 CL uh, it was absolutely fine uh, every time when I started um, the flame I don't know how to explain that because every time when I burned it it, it, it it had literally every time every week had a mushroom in how to avoid that I'm not sure I guess maybe I haven't cut the week short enough on the beginning of the um, burning I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if you can give me some guidance on that I will be appreciate uh, there was a little smoking on CL10 which you can tell on a white jar um, but it wasn't something to massively concern compared to VRL weeks. I think I need to do a bit more research about it. Now when I'm talking about it loud, I've got like a million other thoughts how and what to do in the future. But I need to stick also to my plan. Uh, CL12 got a bit of hair there so apologies that's my dog hair seal 12 end up about that with a tiny touch of mushrooming and cf 14 not mushrooming what tunneling but i believe while the candle go down that will melt down so you will get actually full melt um cl 14 was performing slightly better less tunneling However, when I'm looking at them now, actually, they both are um, doing a good job. But for some reason, when I was actually testing them, the CL14 um, was kind of performing slightly better. I liked it better. The flame itself was okay, good size. I didn't notice anything concerning about that. The melt pour... Um, in general in all of them was okay however that CL12 um, was tunneling a bit more um, that's why I think the CL14 will be better we'll see how that goes um, the glass temperature on every on every end of the test was actually one kind of hot but not kind of hot that you can't touch the jar um, or else some of them had a time to time the flame itself was dancing but I'm guessing that's quite normal for the flame to dance as long as it doesn't you know move too much uh, yeah so we're gonna stick with in my opinion and with uh, my experience my knowledge 
which as I highlight again, I'm not a specialist. We'll see how things goes, how I'm going to get the results. Um, but we're going to stick with a CL label, uh, not label, CL wigs. And next step will be to test some fragrance and see how they're going to perform with fragrance. So stay tuned. Um, subscribe to my channel, make comment, check my previous videos if you want and yeah much appreciate for watching hopefully that video was helpful um if i haven't mentioned anything or you believe i said something wrong you'd be more i will be more than happy for you to make a comment about it and um make a discussion or maybe contact on instagram or threads and go from that so once again thank you for watching glad you glad you stopped by and i see you next one which probably gonna be some more testing or i don't know we'll see uh, but definitely will be some more videos so see you later have a lovely day and ta-da bye